everyone welcome back to my channel today i'm gonna be i'm gonna be doing a very light makeup i'm going to use the elf um camo powder foundation it's my first time ever to use a powder foundation on my face and people are raving about this so i'm gonna go ahead and try it out as you can see i have like spots redness and everything in my face so i'll let's check if it can really cover it up so i'm gonna be using a primer because that's what i usually do i usually use primer before my foundation and then i'm going to conceal first before i apply this because this is powder and it's so difficult, it's confusing because I just usually use a liquid or a cream foundation or a stick one. So this is my first time. Um, I actually have the MAC Studio Fix Plus foundation, but I just use it for touch-ups. So it's different, so I don't know. We'll see. Let's try their cotton. I'm going to use the e.l.f poreless putty primer since i'm using the <gasps> that's a lot since i'm using elf let's use elf primer too so before i proceed um i just want to read the details about the product it's a primer infused pressed powder foundation that delivers buildable coverage and an airbrushed finish though uh, my shade is medium 3301 it's a long lasting foundation that's what it claims some of the reviews are not good but yeah so i'm here to try it out and let's see how it looks like on my skin i'm just gonna use the sponge that comes with the powder and let's do this it's too dark okay oh my god it's thick I don't know how to use a powder foundation. See? Not too dark on my skin, it's just bright. There it goes. Ooh. It's a bit dark. No. I'll just try it here. Just try it. I don't know how to use, <laughs> Maybe I use this. Okay. It's pretty well. It's okay. Try to set our tongue. So this is the side of my face with the foundation and this is the one without. See the difference? Just gonna finish it up. So this is my face with the foundation on. Mm. Really covered. So I'm gonna finish my face out. I'm going to apply blush, 
going to let's stick it up in here and we'll see in a few hours how this holds in my face but I really did cover have the coverage bro like I have not used to it let's see what happens let me just finish my face and I'll be back so I've done my makeup very long of makeup but yes I've done it and I will check it out again after a few hours see if see how it holds in my face my cotton my foundation pretty much covers but it's too matte but the coverage is great to me so this is how it looks like after three hours natural light lang niya and close to the window intact pa siya It's still covering my acne and dark spots. So yeah, it's actually great. I might be able to use it again. Nice. And I only bought the powder for only 11 pounds. That's a lot cheaper than other brands. So it's worth it, yeah. Did a great job. So that's my last update for my camel powder foundation. Mm, it's still okay. In my dry skin here, oh my flake. But it's still good. It's still covering my spots and black spots here and here, my acne. So it's still great. It's still a thumbs up. And I didn't touch up yet. And that's it. Okay, Roman? So yeah, I'm just gonna end this video here. So my final koan, um, jurisdiction, shut up, is, yeah, actually it's a great um, foundation, although I'm not used to using kanang powder foundation, but it's, it's a great one, it's a good one, and for the price, yes, okay kayo siya, so, yeah, good job again, e.l.f., I like e.l.f. products, they're really nice, quality, affordable prices so yeah well done so that's it <laughs> thumbs up for elf camo powder foundation